Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today, we're going to see the final game of a three-game set between the Red Sox and Cubs at Wrigley. Also, this will be the sixth game and final game of a homestand for the Cubs as well. They have gone three and two so far, looking to complete the sweep of the Boston Red Sox. For today's game, we are going to see you Darvish making the start for the Cubs. He is making start number 15, coming in at 3 and 6 with a 4.27 ERA, 135 whip. The Cubs lineup today will feature Baez, Ozuna, Bryant, Contreras, Hap, Shaw, Santana, Darvish and Hayward. The Red Sox will send lefty Matt Hall to the mound. He is making appearance number 9 this year. 1-5 and five with a 9-16 ERA and 193 whip. The Red Sox lineup will have Downs, Smoak, Devers, Bogarts, Verdugo, Benintendi, Vazquez, Jackie Bradley Jr., and the pitcher, Matt Hall. Wind today is blowing left to right, 10 MPH, and it is a very pleasant 72 degrees outside. Let's head down to the field for the first pitch. Yu Darvish facing off against Jeter Downs. Cubs, winners of two straight, looking to finish off this sweep, pull the brooms out against the Red Sox. Red Sox come in at 33 and 44, 11 games under 500, third place in the AL East. Cubs coming in at 37 and 40, and third place in the NL Central. The Red Sox are on a five game losing streak right now. Cubs trying to help him extend that out to six. Darvish working with an 0-2 count and he strikes out Jeter Downs with the fastball for out number one. Justin Smolak now batting, 2-2 count, one out. Swing and a miss, strike three. Crossed him up with a sinker that was down and in right there. Darvish gets K number two, and now Deaver's the batter with a one ball count, two out. Darvish with the sign and the pitch. And that's going to be lined into right center field. Hayward is going to cut it off, but it will be a single for Deaver's. Bogart's now the batter, one and one count, and that one gets away. Contreras chases it to the backstop, but Deaver's is going to advance to second base without a throw. Bogart's now standing in with a full count and two outs. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. Well, Darvish gets him with the fastball, records three strikeouts in the first inning. Going to the bottom of the first, 0-0. Baez leading off for the Cubs, full count. Baez waiting for the pitch from Hall. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, strike three. Got him with a fastball that was probably outside. And now Marcelo Ozuna comes up. 2-2 two -two count from Hall. Ozuna with one out, waiting for the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three on the changeup. Got Ozuna way out in front of that one. And now Chris Bryant, the batter. 0-2 oh, count to Bryant. Hall with the pitch. There's a grounder to short. At least he didn't strike out. The throw goes to first. And the side is retired. Two strikeouts. Cubs go down 1-2-3 in the first. Top of the second inning, 0-0. Alex Verdugo batting with an 0-2 count against Darvish. He swings and misses, but the ball gets away. The throw goes to first, and the strikeout is recorded. Contreras reacting quickly and getting that ball over to Shaw to complete the out. Benny now batting for the Red Sox. 2-0 count from Darvish, looking in for the sign and the pitch. Grounder to first, Shaw has it, steps on the base, and that is out number two. Darvish pitching to Christian Vasquez now. Full count, two out, payoff pitch on the way. And popped up to left. Coming in and making the catch is going to be Ozuna for the third out of the inning. Red Sox do not score. We go to the bottom of the second, 0-0. Zero, zero. Wilson Contreras leading off for the Cubs. Two and one count to Contreras. And waiting for the pitch from Hall. And that's going to be a base hit up the middle. Contreras lines a single into center. 
for the Cubs' first base hit of this game. Ian Happ now batting with nobody out, one man on, one and two count to Happ, and there's a grounder to short. The throw goes to second, but Contreras breaks up the double play. There is no relay to first, and Happ is safe on the fielder's choice. Shaw now batting, one out, one man on, full count pitch. Outside, Shaw continues to show a good eye, drawing the walk and heading down to first base. Santana the batter, one out, two men on. Cubs trying to break the 0-0 tie, one strike count. And that's going to be a base hit over the third baseman's head down the left field line. The runner rounds third, and but he is going to stop. Hap made a big wide turn at third base, but ultimately puts on the brakes. And so the bases are loaded now with one out, and Darvish is the batter. Darvish in fact, is 5 for 19 with a home run this season. Let's see if he can make a contribution here. One strike count, and Darvish knocks that one into center field. That is going to drop in for a base hit. One run scores. The second runner stops at third. That is Shaw. Santana advances to second. Darvish comes up big with the RBI single. Cubs now leading 1-0. And Jason Hayward is the batter. Hayward comes up with one out, bases loaded. Cubs trying to extend the one nothing lead. First pitch to Hayward. There's a grounder to second. The throw goes to short, but there is no relay to first as the double play is broken up by Darvish out at second base, and that allows a second run to score on the fielder's choice. So the Cubs now own a 2 nothing lead, and two outs, runners on the corners for Baez. 2-2 count to Baez, Hall working, and strike three swinging. Got him on the curveball. So the Cubs score twice, leave two men on. We go to the top of the third inning, 2-0 Chicago. Jackie Bradley Jr. leading off for the Red Sox against Yu Darvish in the top of the third inning. One ball count, Darvish working. There's a ground ball to second base. The throw goes to first, and Bradley's retired for out number one. One out now, and Hall is the batter with a one and two count. And he swings and misses for strike three. That is strikeout number five on the day for you, Darvish. Jeter Downs now the batter with a two two count. Darvish working quickly, swing and a miss, strike three. That'll end the inning. Darvish records two more strikeouts. We go to the bottom of the third of a two nothing Cub lead. Ozuna now standing in against Hall to lead off the Cubs half of the third. 2-2 two -two count to Ozuna, and here's the pitch. There's a ground ball to short. The throw goes to first, and Ozuna's retired on a routine ground ball for out number one. Chris Bryant now the batter with one strike count, one out, and Bryant hits that one hard, but it'll be playable. Deep left field on the warning track, and it is caught by Benintendi, for out number two. Bryant, Bryant surely gave that a ride, but it was just a hair short of the basket in left field. Wilson Contreras now, 2-2 two -two count. Contreras swings and misses for strike three at the fastball. Cubs do not score. They're retired in order. We go to the top of the fourth of a 2-0 Cubs lead. Darvish working to Smoak. First pitch of the top of the fourth inning. And Smolak pops it up behind second base. Hap is going back. Hayward comes in. Hap makes the play for out number one. Rafael Devers is the batter now. Devers coming up. He is one for one today with a 2-0 count working against Darvish. And there's a ground ball against the shift. Bryant has to dive. He throws to first, and he does retire Devers just by a step. Bryant was well out of position in the shift that time, but he managed to make that play and get it to first to record the out. Bogarts now batting with an 0-2 count, Darvish working, swing and a miss, strike three. He chased a fastball that was eight inches outside. The Cubs still lead 2-0. We go now to the bottom of the fourth inning. Hap batting with a 2-2 count, and he's going to line one down the right field line. That one's going all the way to the wall. Extra bases for Hap. Rounding first. Heading to second. The throw goes to second. Hap slides, and he is safe. 
Ian Happ leading off the Cubs half of the fourth with, an, with a double. And now Travis Shaw, the batter. He's coming up with nobody out, runner in scoring position. Cubs looking to add to this 2-0 lead and a 3-0 count. And Shaw draws his second walk of the day. Now Santana's going to bat with first and second, nobody out. Bottom of the fourth inning, one ball count. Hall working to Santana. That's a grounder up the middle. Shortstop has it, throw to first, relay to throw to second, and the relay to first completes the double play. Hap advances to third. However, there are now two outs, and you Darvish is stepping up. He is already one for one with an RBI today. Six for 20 on the season, batting exactly 300. One and two count to Darvish. Hall with the pitch. And Darvish is going to knock that one past the second baseman into right field. He's going to drive in another run. Credit Darvish with the RBI single. The Cubs are now up three to nothing. Jason Hayward the batter now with Darvish on first and two outs. And the first pitch to Hayward. Here it comes. Hayward knocks that one into the gap in right center field. That's going all the way to the wall. Again, this is going to be extra bases. Hayward heads to second. Darvish rounding third. He is going to come home to score. Hayward slides into third with an RBI triple. And that is going to make the lead 4 to nothing for the Cubs. Nice piece of hitting right there by Jason Hayward. He really got the meaty part of the bat on that one. Javier Baez is now going to bat with two outs. Runner 90 feet away, Cubs sitting on a 4-0 lead. 0-2 count to Baez with the pitch. So wait a miss, strike three. Baez is set down on strikes to end the inning. The Cubs score twice, and they double the lead. It is now 4-0. Verdugo, the batter, he steps in against Darvish. Top of the fifth inning. 0-2 count from Darvish with the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Darvish really dialed in today. That is strikeout number eight for him. One out. Nobody on Benintendi, the batter. Two and one count. And that's a grounder to second. The throw goes to first, and Benintendi is retired for out number two. Darvish pitching to Vasquez with two outs. Nobody on. One, one count. And there's a pop-up. That's over the second baseman's head into right field. That'll be a base hit. Second of the day for the Red Sox. And Darvish now working to Bradley with two outs and a runner on first. 2-0 count. Darvish gets him to pop it up to center. Is that going to drop? Nope. Santana is going to get there, and he will make the catch for out number three. Well, Darvish... Retires the Red Sox. He does allow a base runner, but the Red Sox do not score. We're going to the bottom of the fifth of a 4-0 Cub lead. Ozuna, the batter, he's going to lead off for the Cubs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. 0-2 count. Ozuna waiting for it, and he knocks that one past the third baseman into left field for a leadoff single. Ozuna took the 0-2 changeup, and he sat back on it, actually got it out into left field for a base hit. Chris Bryant now the batter against the lefty Matt Hall continuing to work here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Runner on first, nobody out. Chris Bryant with an 0-2 count. And that's another base hit. That one goes right up the middle. The runner is going to stop on second. Bryant is credited with a single. And now Contreras is up with nobody out. Runners on first and second. Full count pitch to Contreras, and he watches that one go by way outside. The walk is going to load the bases, and Hall is now going to work to Ian Happ. The switch hitter, Happ, is going to stand in from the right side against the lefty Hall. Hall sitting at 88 pitches, full uh, bases loaded, nobody out, bottom of the fifth inning, Cubs up 4-0. Full count pitch to Happ. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, strike three. That was probably right at the knees. Hap just couldn't do anything with it. So Shaw now the batter. Base is still loaded and one out. Hall working with a 2-1 count. And that's going to be a grounder to first. The throw goes home. The relay to first. So the runner's retired at home, but Shaw beats the relay down to first for a fielder's choice. 
The bases are still loaded, and there are now two outs, and Danny Santana is the batter. So Santana comes up, trying to extend this 4-0 Cub lead. One ball count, and Santana gets a base hit. That one's going into center field. One run is going to score. Two runs are going to score. The, run, the throw is coming home, and Contreras is safe. The Cubs' lead is now 6 to nothing. Yu Darvish coming up to bat again. He's already driven in two runs in this game. He comes up with two outs, two men on in the bottom of the fifth inning. Full count pitch. Darvish waiting for it. And he knocks another base hit into left field. The runner's coming around third. He is going to score. Yu Darvish has three RBIs on this day. He just recorded another RBI single. 7 nothing Cubs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Jason Hayward now the batter, and the Red Sox finally, mercifully, have brought in a relief pitcher. Martin Perez is coming in to pitch for the Red Sox. He has 53 innings on the year, 28 walks, 31 strikeouts, and a 7.98 ERA. I guess he is a slight improvement overhaul, but not much. So Perez facing Hayward, two outs, two men on. Bottom of the fifth inning, one ball count. Perez waiting for the sign and the pitch. And that's going to be a weak grounder back to the mound. Perez has it. He throws to first, but Hayward, hustling down the line, actually beats out the throw. That is going to be an RBI infield single for Jason Hayward, and the lead is now 8 to nothing. Cubs have again doubled their score again this inning taking it all the way from four to eight. And now Baez, the batter, he comes up with two outs and two men on. Baez, 0 for 3 today, looking to contribute here. One and two count, and Baez gets a base hit into, well, he does not get a base hit. The shortstop Devers actually did get a glove on that. I thought that was headed for left field, but he cut it off. The throw goes to second, and the fielder's choice will end the inning. So the Cubs score four times. They extend the lead to eight nothing. Darvish now working to Pereza. He's pinch hitting for the pitcher's spot here in the Red Sox half of the sixth inning. One and two count, Darvish with the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, and Darvish rings up another one. 80 strikeouts on the season for you, Darvish. Nine strikeouts today, and now Jeter Downs is the batter. Two, two count, and swing and a miss, strike three on the changeup for Jeter Downs. Ten strikeouts on the day. For you, Darvish, he's just hit double digits, and now Smolak is the batter. He comes up with two outs and nobody on. Full count pitch to Smolak, and he loses him. That was a pitch right at the knees, but the umpire says, nope, that is ball four, buddy. You do not get the benefit of the doubt right there. So Deaver's now batting with two outs, one man on. First pitch from Darvish. Here it comes. And that's popped up to right. Hayward ranging over toward the line. He reaches up. Oh, and he drops it. Hayward dropped what looked like a routine fly ball. And that's going to put runners on second and third with two outs. Wow. You don't see Hayward make very many of those errors out in right field. But that's what just happened. So now Darvish has to continue to pitch in the sixth inning. He has to face Bogarts with second and third and two outs. 1-1 one, one count. And that one gets away. The ball goes all the way to the backstop. The throw comes home, but the runner is going to score on the wild pitch. Smolak comes home to score. Devers advances to third. The Red Sox have their first run of the game. It is now 8-1. to one. Bogart's still batting with a 2-2 count and two out. And there's a swing and a miss, strike three on the fastball. So Darvish recovers to get strikeout number 11. The Red Sox score a run. It's unearned on the error by Hayward. And now we go to the bottom of the sixth of an 8-1 to one Cub lead. Ozuna is going to face the new Red Sox pitcher, which is Hunter Strickland. He comes in with 25 and a third innings thrown, 16 walks, 19 strikeouts, and a 3.20 ERA. Ozuna will lead off for the Cubs here in the bottom of the sixth. Two and one count, Ozuna waiting for the pitch from Strickland. And that's going to be a base hit into left field. That's going all the way to the wall. 
The runner rounds first. He is heading for second. Ozuna is standing into second with a double. That is a leadoff double in the bottom of the sixth inning, and now Chris Bryant is the batter. Cubs trying to extend this 8-1 lead. 0-2 count to Bryant. Here's the pitch. Grounder to short. The throw goes to first. After looking the runner back, Bryant is retired for out number one. Wilson Contreras now the batter. One out, one man on. Contreras waiting for the pitch. There's a grounder up the middle. Basically the exact same play. The shortstop looks the runner back to second, throws to first. Plenty of time to retire Contreras for out number two. Ian Happ now batting from the left side for the first time today against the righty Strickland. 2-2 two -two count to Happ. And Happ checks his swing, but he is rung up by the umpire. That is strike three, and the Cubs inning is over. We go to the top of the seventh. It is eight to one Cubs. Alex Verdugo stepping up to the plate. He is going to face Hugh Darvish. Darvish, six innings, two hits, one walk, and 11 strikeouts on the day. Starting to work frame number seven. Three and one count from Darvish. Here's the pitch. Grounder to second. The throw goes to first. Shaw is pulled off the bag, but he recovers and steps on the bag to retire Verdugo. Benintendi comes up, and they're going to give Darvish a standing ovation as he gets walked off the mound. Kerry Wood comes out to bring in Casey Sadler. However, Darvish, recognized for his heroic pitching today by the crowd, gets a standing ovation as he heads for the dugout. Casey Sadler now coming in for the Cubs. He's going to pitch with one out, nobody on, top of the seventh inning. Seven-run lead for the Cubs. 3-0 count. Sadler working, looking for the sign, and here's the pitch. That's ball four. He misses low and in. Sadler sends Benintendi down to first with the base on balls. Vasquez now the batter. 0-2 count. Sadler working. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That's a fast ball that Sadler just threw right past him, and that is out number two. Jackie Bradley now batting with two outs, one man on. Full count pitch. Grounder up the middle. Baez is in exactly the right place to make that play because of the shift. He throws to first for out number three. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning, 8-1 Cubs. And today, for the seventh inning stretch, our guest conductor is the one and only Billy Joel. Travis Shaw standing in against Strickland. He's going to lead off the Cubs half of the seventh in an 8-1 to one ball game. One strike count, Strickland working. And that's popped up to right. It'll be playable on the warning track, and it is caught for out number one. Shaw gave that one a ride, but he only made it out to just short of the wall. Santana now batting. He's stepping in from the left side against the righty Strickland. Full count, one out. Santana waiting for the pitch. Here it comes. That is outside. It is ball four, and Santana draws the walk, heading down to first. Sadler now batting for himself is going to face Strickland with one out, one man on. One, one count. And he grounds to short. The throw goes to second. The relay to first, and Sadler grounds into an inning-ending 6-4-3 double play. The Cubs get a runner, but he does not score. We go to the top of the eighth inning of an 8-1 to one ball game. Sadler is going to face the pinch hitter Chavis here in the top of the eighth. He'll face the 9-1-2 and two batters in the Red Sox lineup in the top of the eighth inning. Sadler looking for the sign, and here's the pitch. Popped up to center, Santana coming in. And he makes the catch at medium depth center field for out number one. Jeter Downs now the batter with one out, nobody on. 2-2 two -two count, Sadler working. Grounder to short, Baez has it, throws to first for out number two. Smoak now the batter, he comes up with two outs, nobody on. One strike count, Smoak waiting for the pitch. There's a grounder to second, Hap throws it away. It goes into the dugout, and 
the runner, the runner Smolak is going to end up at second base because of the error. That's the second error in this game for the Cubs. Thankfully, they have a seven-run lead, but the defense really has been a bit of a touchy subject here in this ball game. Deaver's now coming up with two outs and a runner in scoring position. One ball count. And that's going to be a base hit over the first baseman's head into right field. The runner is going to come around to score. Smoak slides in. He is safe. Deavers gets an RBI single, and now the lead is cut down to 8-2. So Bogart's now the batter with two outs, one man on. Bogart's with a full count waiting for the payoff pitch. That is strike three called, and Sadler... Gets the strikeout to end the inning. I guess if you don't want to put it in the defense's hands, you just got to strike them all out. So we go now to the bottom of the eighth inning. It is a 8-2 Cub lead. Heath Hembry is the new Red Sox pitcher. He's thrown 34 innings so far this year. 19 walks, 33 strikeouts, 397 ERA. He will face Hayward, Baez, and Ozuna in the bottom of the eighth inning. Hayward with a 2-2 count leading off. Waiting for the pitch. And here it comes. Hayward knocks that one into center field. That is going to get down for a leadoff single. Jason Hayward makes a wide turn but heads back to first base. And now Javier Baez, 0 for 4 today. Looking to see if he can make a contribution to this game. Baez, with the first pitch, pops it up to left. That is going to be playable. It is going to be caught for out number one. Benintendi heads it back in to keep Hayward from tagging up. And now Ozuna will bat with one out, one man on. One ball count to Ozuna. And there's a grounder to third. The throw goes to second. The relay to first. And that will end the inning. Ozuna grounds out to a 5-4-3 double play. And now the Cubs go to the top of the ninth, holding on to an 8-2 lead. Zach Britton will be the new pitcher for the Cubs. Casey Sadler has been relieved. And I'm sure Sadler is probably relieved to be out of this game. Verdugo, Benintendi, and Vazquez will be the Red Sox batters in the top of the ninth inning. Britton working in a non-save situation here. 1-1 one, one count. Looking in for the sign against Verdugo. And here's the pitch. And there's a grounder to second. The throw goes to first, and the first out is made in the top of the ninth inning. Benny now comes up. He's batting from the left side for the Red Sox. He will face Britton with one out, nobody on, and a full count pitch on the way. Popped up to center. Hayward heading over, Santana heading over. He calls off Hayward and makes the catch for out number two. Vasquez now stepping in against Britain with two outs, nobody on. Six-run lead here for the Cubs in the top of the ninth inning. 2-2 two, two count, and Britain with the pitch, and he pops him up to left. That should be playable. Ozuna has it, and that is out number three. The Cubs are victorious. Raise the white flag. 8-2 to two today. The Red Sox scored two runs on three hits with no errors. The Cubs got eight hits, 13. Eight runs, 13 hits, and two errors in this game. The player of the game is no surprise there, Mr. Yu Darvish. Six and a third innings, two hits, one run, not earned. One walk to 11 strikeouts. I believe that is a season high for him. He is credited with the win. He improves to four and six on the season. Hall gets the loss. He drops to one and six. Through four and two-thirds of ten-hit, eight-run baseball, allowing three walks and six strikeouts. And the other story here today is Darvish, in addition to the 11 strikeout performance, going three for three with three RBIs in today's game, and single-handedly contributing to the entire win against the Red Sox. So, thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball. The Cubs improved to 38-40 and 40 and have now a three-game winning streak. The Red Sox dropped to 33-45 and 45 and have lost six in a row. Have a good afternoon. Thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.